Oh, dear. <laughs> Don't scare people. No, I just tried okay. to. Okay. I didn't know you could see me that close. <laughs> oh, we put a bright light on. Is that in your eyes? Well, no, not at all. I'm fine. Okay. Here's our Q&A number 30. Six. I kind of lose a track. Anyway, there but who's counting? With okay. a bright light, don't you just see all our blemishes? <laughs> I know. We just look lovely. Okay, Lisa Vinson. Love your Sunday family gatherings. What day is your birthday? My, my birthday was October 7th. I turned 61. And she says, I love donuts. Can you please do a DIY on how to make them? Yes, I will do that. I'm making them for Halloween, so that'll come up. Not this Friday, but next. Because Halloween's on Monday. So I thought I'll... you already did one, like donut holes and all that. No, and... I okay. thought I did too, but I just showed how to um, decorate them. <laughs> I didn't show how to make them. We'll put the recipe up and everything. With Rhodes so. dough or your own dough? With Rhodes. Oh. No, I I'll, I did with Rhodes dough, but I'm going to do them with, with uh, real dough. With, with the potatoes own. in it, the spud, the spuds oh, are, spud nuts. They're actually called spud nuts yeah. because they've got the potatoes in them. Okay. Kelly D, I watched your video to make the sauce. This is the sauce for um, tomato sauce for the sketty. Yeah, right. The famous. <laughs> yeah, uh, the famous when she sketty. Says means the grandkids say it that way. Yeah. But we mean spaghetti. We mean spaghetti, but it's yeah. sketty. I noticed you put the top part of the tomato in the food process, or do you cut that off? I don't have a processor, so is it going? So I was going to use my blender. Okay, uh, yeah, I just throw the whole tomato in there and just blend it up with the, the tomato skins. This is what I use for my sauces, like for pizza or tacos or, you know, something where you need it thick because the tomato skins are really thick, and I just put the top part in unless it's rotten looking then I throw them out to the chickens and yes you can use use your blender does, does she sound like a farm girl you can take the girl out of the farm but you can't get the never mind <laughs> the farm out of the yeah. chicken <laughs> okay I think we have time for one more here um, kind of getting to the end of this q and I have to print some more out um, mom oh Charlene Genge Mama O, can you please do a DIY on spaghetti squash <clears throat> and teach us the way it's supposed to be made? Oh, yeah, I can do that. that. It's it's really good, um, really easy. You just bake it and kind of kind of fluff it up with your cut it in half and fluff it up with your fork. And it looks just like spaghetti, and you can put sauce on so it. So you're doing this instead of the DIY? Or? No, I'll show okay. her how to do it. I'll do a DIY. I thought you were to do a quickie. <laughs> But no, but all you do is this. and there's other ways, but you, you, you just treat it like it's spaghetti. But uh, she says we've attempted it and it turned out miserable, sure. non-edible. <laughs> Not even the dog wanted it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I'm pretty sure we did something wrong. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> but yeah, spaghetti squash is just don't make it harder than it than it Char really is. Charlene, just say what state you're from or what country you're from, or <laughs> I'm just curious where this. Where the dogs wouldn't eat your food. Where the dogs wouldn't eat it. No, it reminds me of when we, the first week we were married and I made, oh, I made chicken um, noodles, homemade noodles. chicken noodle soup and I put in way too much salt. She made her own noodles and everything. I think I've done a DIY on that. I'll post that up here on the homemade chicken noodle soup. And and Joe was trying to eat it, but it was no, way... No, it, it was way strong with I salt. I think I put a tablespoon in of salt instead of a teaspoon. But... Uh, I didn't want to hurt her feelings, so I just kind of <laughs> ate it slowly. And then Roseanne took one taste and go, Ooh! I go, oh, you don't have to eat that. It's so nice of you to try and eat it. But So we <laughs> threw it outside, and even the cats wouldn't eat it. And we lived behind my brother's house. And normally and it, it had little pieces of chicken in it, so that the cats would normally... Yeah, they didn't go for it. the chicken. And we lived behind my brother's house, and he didn't even want it. I, he would... We, our, our place was so small, we had to have the fridge outside. And my brother would get in the fridge all the time and eat eat our food out of there. <laughs> then, then Joe put a lock on it. Well, you, you made your homemade pies and put in Yeah, it. I made... Well, I, uh, I was used to having something to do all the time. And when we got married, Joe says, Well, you worked on the farm, so uh, you don't want to have to work. Why don't you rest? 
And I thought, oh, I don't have anything to do. So I would bake cookies and pies and and while Joe was at work because I didn't have anything to do. And and my brother loved to get in the fridge and eat the pies and the cookies. And, and so, so I put a lock. Joe put on a lock the, on yeah. the fridge. We lived there for two months. And my brother just loved getting in the fridge. He goes, when Joe put the lock on, he goes, oh. <laughs> okay, that we've used up enough time. Why don't you uh, grab our paper and we'll do a quote, a couple of quotes. Did you have one picked out? Yeah, it's, a, it's the one about... <coughs> yeah, it was, um, that was 41 years ago that we lived behind my brother. I think it was just more than... Okay. Y your mind... Hold your paper down so they can see you. <laughs> your mind is like water. When agitated, it becomes difficult to see. Oh. But if you allow it to settle, the answer becomes clear. Ooh, I like that. So that means if Wait. you're... Oh. Yeah, so I like that. So we, if you're upset, you're not very rational. But if, when you calm down, you can see things a lot clearer. Yeah. You know, like when the water's uh, agitated, it gets all muddy, you know, if it's in a stream or something. So that's, that's a good one. Okay, and I'll, I'll, I'll close with this one. Stay strong even when it feels like everything's falling apart. I have to think about that one. Mm -hmm. and, and I can add something else to that. Uh, you don't jump ship when there's a storm. You stay there. You batten down the hatches. You work together. Batten uh, down, is that a word? Batten down the hatches. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you just work it out you don't jump when there's a storm so stay strong even when it feels like everything's falling apart you just have to keep yourself together and not run off screaming down the road it's like a chicken with its head cut off why are we talking about chickens so much tonight anyway now, what quick question okay to who me or that them? is true that if you cut a chicken's head off it will run around and it scares you to death isn't it scary? Tell them. Yeah, my dad, he would cut the heads, the heads off the chickens and they run around for a bit without their... That's and, why you get that without their think, heads. And you think they're chasing you. They think you. they're chasing you and that's where you get the phrase, don't run around like a chicken with your head off because you can't see where you're going and you're just <laughs> running around and you bump into things. and. No, it is frightening to see a chicken run around yeah. and there's no head on it. You don't know if it's chasing you or what. Yeah, it's it's kind of creepy to <laughs> to have that happen when you live on a farm. You guys post uh, comment below if you've you ever cut, seen. You, can, you cut the head off because you're gonna pluck all the feathers out. You're gonna and cook eat it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To cut the head off, that's how you kill them. But um, comment below if you've ever had to, if you've ever been chased by a chicken with its head off, <laughs> or if you've ever had to cut a chicken's head off. Um, I know. It's, it's nice that we don't have to go through that process. Don't sometimes uh, they wring the neck? Or... Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. Your dad did that. Yeah, he, he liked the, it's more humane to just cut the head off. Anyway, we'll close on that lovely point. Uh, <laughs> and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And um, we'll get those DIYs up. And I'm talking more because I had a nap. Just yeah, he's in a good mood tonight. But uh, watch for my DIY tomorrow. It's going to be on the Family Home Evening Lessons. I'll show you how I put those together and how many we have. We have and what they few. are. And what they are and what Family Home Evening is. So thank you and good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> what did you do, Wade? Uh, yeah. <laughs>